Hey, what is up, everybody? Back at it again today. Bad day yesterday. Uh, one of our worst days yet. <clears throat> Three and eight overall day. Won't even probably go over it. It is what it is. On to the next day. Um, as far as what's going on in the NBA, though, there is a whole lot going on in the NBA. Uh, and I figured I would just, if you guys haven't been able to keep up with it all, I'd kind of give you guys all the trades that have been going down. Now, obviously, some of these trades, like we'll get into later, uh, i.e. 76ers, uh, have a bigger impact than others do. Uh, but I'll just go through all of them because, you know, at the end of the day, it's still good to know kind of what's going around the league in, in general. Uh, so starting off the day, it was Thaddeus Young getting traded to uh, the Spurs for Goran Dragic. Um, word is around the town that Goran Dragic's going to take a buyout from the Spurs, so they're just going to pay him up front his entire contract. He's going to basically walk, and then it looks like the Dallas Mavericks are going to most likely pick up Goran Dragic. So that's a little interesting move there. Uh, Marvin Bagley finally gets moved uh, in a six, or excuse me, a one, two, three, four, five team trade. Uh, Clippers get Rodney Hood and some uh, and Semi Ajawali, which is unfortunate. Like I said, I'm a Bucks fan, and I really wanted Rodney Hood because he's a really good playoff guy to have off the bench. Uh, he's gonna go to the Clippers, and the Bucks in return will get Serge Ibaka. Jack, uh, the Kings will get Dante Divincenzo, Josh Jackson, and Trey Lyles. And the Pistons will get Marvin Bagley. So Marvin Bagley finally gets moved from the Kings. Sorry, my dog's in the way. Um, other trades that are going around. Uh, oh, excuse me. Then the trade got updated between the Raptors and the Spurs. And the Raptors got Thaddeus Young, Drew Eubanks, and a second rounder. And the Spurs got Goron and a first rounder. Um, so they get a little bit of a pick there for the uh, San Antonio Spurs. Um, and, of course, the big trade. Um Harden wanted out bad, and he got exactly what he wanted. Um, the 76ers are going to get James Harden and Paul Millsap. This is the official overall trade summary. Uh, Nets are going to get Ben Simmons, a Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and two first-rounders. So after all the waiting and after all the time, the 76ers GM, and I forget his name, gets exactly what he wants. He gets an all-star caliber guard and two first-round picks for Ben Simmons. We all thought he was delusional. I thought he was delusional. I thought there's no way in hell he's going to get an all-star caliber player and two first-round picks for Ben Simmons, but he did it. So James Harden is officially moving out, uh, and he's already picked up his player option. He was on a play player option, hadn't resigned it yet. He's already picked up his player option with the, with the 76ers, so he's already signed on for another year. Uh, at this moment, though, in time, that means that the 76ers roster is Tyrese Maxey and DeAnthony Milton at the point guard position. James Harden and uh, Korkmaz at the two, Matisse Thibel, Danny Green at the three, Tobias and Gorgon Yang at the four, and Joel Embiid and Paul Millsap at the five. The uh, as uh, Andre Drummond also got traded. Did I say Andre Drummond? Ben Simmons, Andre Drummond, and two first round picks. I think I said that. Um, and then the trade that just went down not too long ago was straight up Celtics Spurs Derek White for Josh Richardson. So, pretty interesting stuff that's been happening this morning. Of course, today is the trade deadline. Uh, wild stuff. Um, and then the last trade that just happened just a few minutes ago, Torrey Craig uh, has been traded to the Suns, and the Pacers got Jalen Smith in a second-round pick. So, those are all the trades that have happened today. Kind of a longer little segment right there, but just thought I'd kind of fill you guys in a little bit. Okay, next part of this video, I don't ask you guys really all that often to like like and subscribe and comment and do all that kind of junk because it is what it is. You guys, if you guys like my content, you can like, you can subscribe. It's up to you. I'm not going to force it on you guys or anything like that. Um, here's the thing though. I am going to ask you guys what you guys want me to do with these videos. Basically, um, I've done it two ways, right? I've done it where I've given you guys just a couple of picks that I really like and I've told you guys that and it's been a shorter video. Um, we've had longer videos where I go through every single game and I give you guys all the numbers, all the stats, and I give you guys who I think are going to be the best picks in each game. Um, and then I've also given you guys every single game and five picks that I like and five picks that I don't like. Um, I can do it anyway, uh, but please down, tell me down in the comment section like what, how you guys want me to approach that. Uh, if I can find a way, I'll to put a poll in the description. So if you guys want longer videos for every game, I'll put that down there as an option. Or if you want shorter videos with my favorite picks. Uh, I can do that too, but uh, really tell me down in the comment section. I really want to know so I can give you guys the best content that I can. For today, uh, we are going to just do where I give you guys five of my favorite picks like I've been doing at the end of the videos. I'm going to give you my five favorite picks of the day and my five picks not to mess with today. So let's get into it. All right, my lock of the day is going to be coming from the finals rematch. 76 or 76ers, Suns and Bucks. Uh, my lock of the day today is going to be Giannis Antetokounmpo over 29.5 points. We know what Giannis did to him in the finals. I don't think I have to do too much explanation. 76ers are a good team in their own right. Obviously, they have the best record in the NBA. 
They just don't have anybody to hold the honest man. Uh, they really don't. Jay Crowder can try within his own right. At times in the finals, they had a matchup with DeAndre Ayton. But then somebody's got to try to bob pop guard Bobby Portis on the perimeter because he's a pretty good three-point shooter. So I think Giannis Antetokounmpo, once again, will have a pretty good night. He's been playing just a, incredible of late, last couple of games. 44, 28, 29 as far as points go. He's going to have a pretty big night tonight uh, in Phoenix. I know the fans in Phoenix hate Giannis, obviously. So uh, anticipate Giannis to have a really big night tonight. Vice versa, my number two pick today is going to be Devin Booker. We know what Devin Booker did to the Bucs in the NBA Finals, and the Bucs don't have an answer for Devin Booker. While they have some pretty elite perimeter defense, they did just trade Dante DiVincenzo, so they lose that. Um, but Drew Holiday has either guard Chris Paul or Devin Booker. He can't guard both. Uh, Booker went crazy last game. Uh, all the all the big games that Devin Booker's had this year, uh, like against Chicago, against Philadelphia, just had back-to-back 35-plus point games. Expect the same thing again tonight from Devin Booker. He's their instant offense. If they need a bucket, they give it to Devin Booker. And he's going to he's gonna shine tonight in Phoenix versus the Bucs. Uh, of course, all of the emotions going to be running high in this finals rematch. <laughs> Call me crazy, but my number three pick of the day is also going to be coming from Phoenix, Milwaukee. Mikkel Bridges, once again, over 14.5 points. As long as they keep this so low, I just don't understand why we, we don't just go for this. Uh, Mikkel Bridges being set at 14.5. Like I said, they just don't have the depth right now to have anybody else on the floor. So he's just been playing mad minutes. Uh, and he's just been getting buckets, bro. I mean... He's been scoring well over that, that the point mark they've been setting him out recently. So, Mikhail Bridges, once again, over 14.5 points. And I know it's kind of crazy, but my fourth pick is also going to be coming from Bucks and Phoenix Suns. It's going to be Chris Paul, over 27.5 points and assists. Chris Paul is obviously the point god, as they call him. Uh, leads the league in assists right now. He had 12 the other night versus Philadelphia and 11 versus Chicago in two big matchups. Anticipate the same thing again. He hit... Uh, this 27.5 in every single matchup they've had except for one, including uh, the NBA Finals last season. When it comes down early, this is exactly how Chris Paul plays every game. Doesn't really score much in the first half. He'll get a bucket or two here and there. But he's going to get about eight to nine assists in the first half. Then the third quarter rolls around. He'll put in a couple buckets, get a couple assists. Then the fourth quarter comes, and it's Chris Paul time. He, he's just going to run, pick, and roll. He's going to get in that mid-range. He's going to get that mid-range shot over and over and over again. So he's going to get a high amount of assists in the first half, and then he's going to get a bunch of buckets there at the end of the fourth quarter when they need buckets the most. Over on Chris Paul's 27.5 points and assists. And my fifth favorite pick of the day is also... No, I'm just kidding. It's finally going to be a different game. Uh, Jimmy Butler, over on 20... Or excuse me, over on his PRA, which is currently set at... Give me just a second. It's currently set at 32.5. They're playing the New Orleans Pelicans tonight. The New Orleans Pelicans will be having C.J. McCollum to make his debut tonight. So their team is going to be um, Devontae Graham, C.J. McCollum, Brandon Ingram, Herbie Jones, and Jonas Valanciunas. That's a pretty good team, right, in its own right. Uh, obviously, I'd say Miami's a title contender, especially when they're all healthy like they are right now. But I think uh, the New Orleans Pelicans are going to be able to hold up a pretty good fight tonight. Um, anticipate Jimmy Butler to be able to hit that 32.5 PRA. I'm surprised it's set as low as it is, honestly. Um, I don't know if they forgot that CJ McCollum's on that team now, but the Pelicans got better. Uh, and they were already kind of playing really well of recently. Um, so I would anticipate Jimmy Butler to hit that PR, pr PRA pretty easily, especially if this game does manage to stay close. All right, and my five picks I don't want you guys to mess with. Coming in at number one is going to be John ja Morant. I know, I know. Uh, ja Morant, you can't go good under that guy. I'm saying go under on his PRA. His points is set at 28, right? And then they're expecting him to get about 13 points and rebounds, essentially. Um, I'm saying go under on Jaw. They're playing the Pistons. And I'm saying go under for the simple fact that he just won't have the court time to be able to get all the points, rebounds, and assists he needs to get up to that 42 uh, PRA range. So under on Jaw Morant. Uh, my number two pick, uh, stay away picks. And again, when I say stay away, it necessarily doesn't mean don't pick these guys. It means go under on these guys. Um, so my number two pick is going to be coming from the Brooklyn-Washington game. Uh, stay away from Contavious caldwell Pope. His line is set at 11.5. He hasn't even come close really to hitting that recently. He has just been struggling as far as it comes from shooting it from the field. Um, he's going to probably get in a little bit of an increased role now because Bradley Beal just get that wrist surgery that's going to have him out for the rest of the season. But anticipate Contavious Caldwell Pope against Brooklyn really to not be able to hit that point line. He just hasn't been shooting the ball well. Breaking news. Another trade has just gone down. I don't know all the details yet, but basically Montrezl Harrell has just now been traded to the uh, 
to the Hornets. So that's pretty cool. The Hornets finally get a little bit of interior presence. Uh, and trade details of that will be coming later, probably. My number three stay away pick tonight is going to be coming from Houston, Toronto. Stay away from Jason Tate. Uh, Jason Tate, not the greatest, most talented scorer, but when they have all their guards, when they have uh, Jalen Green, Kevin Porter, when they have all those guys in at the moment, like they do at the moment, uh, Jason Tate becomes less of a scoring option, uh, especially against the length of Toronto. Don't anticipate Jason Tate, who's not the greatest shooter, to get layups and stuff like that, like he normally would because of that length of Toronto. So, so, so under on 12.5 points for Jason. Okay, so official trade summary. Hornets get Montrez Harrell, Wizards get Vernon Carey Jr. and Ish Smith. This is the official trade summary. My number four stay away pick today is going to be DeAndre Ayton's rebounds. For some reason, for whatever reason, he just really has not been getting all that many rebounds since he's been reinstalled into the lineup. And I don't trust it against Milwaukee, a really good rebounding team. So stay away from DeAndre Ayton's rebounds. Lastly, coming in at number five, stay away from Desmond Bain. Uh, his threes, his, his three point, or excuse me, his threes, his assist points, all of it. Like I said, it's going to be a blowout in Detroit. He has not been scoring uh, the ball very well of late, so I would stay away from Desmond Bain. One more trade happens right before the deadline. Suns trade for Aaron Holiday. So, uh, Phoenix acquires the Wizards guard right before the trade deadline. So, right before the trade is <clears throat> uh, deadline is announced, uh, it looks like Wizards also get a second-round pick. So, the Wizards just traded for Aaron Holiday with a second-round pick. Don't know the official summary on that one. Uh, but that one did happen right before the deadline. Okay, so I'm not in my normal spot that I'm normally at. Uh, I was editing my video, and just as I was editing my video, <laughs> another big trade just went down. Kristaps Porzingis has just been traded from the Mavericks to the Wizards in return for Spencer Dinwiddie. Bro, what? I don't even... Uh, straight up trade, just Spencer Dinwiddie for Kristaps Porzingis. He's been playing great. They had, him and Luca were finally getting on the same page, and they just moved him. They just moved him for Spencer Dinwiddie, just straight up. Holy mackerel. That being said, guys, please do comment down below letting me know what kind of video you guys prefer me to do. Uh, let's have some success tonight. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.